What happened outside? You heard me. Yeah, he was banging on them. He was chasing them. So what happened? They was running. And who came out the car? Nobody. Okay. They stayed in the car. So what are we talking I'm about? I'm saying if it was me. I don't care if it was you. you was the reason my tooth was missing. And I was. I would have got out the car. I don't screw your crib. I would have got out. I would have blitzed you. I would have you. I would have blazed your shit. I would have beat you the fuck up. And, so, my, and my friend in the car? In I the, see, I didn't see. That's the crazy part. Yeah. I didn't, I, honestly, I didn't see the friend. And I thought it was your Uber. I didn't even know yeah. that bitch was in the car. So yeah. when I walked up, I said, what, what are you doing? It was her and, and her then it, it rolled the down car. the window. Then she rolled down the window like, yeah. I said, uh, oh, it's you? Then you're the problem. <laughs> it's yeah. your fault. Yeah. It's you? Okay, then bet. I was like, surprised. What? You really surprised me that day because I'm like, oh, you know, I thought, you know, every, you know, everybody believed the rock high, uh, rock tough, but then you had her running down the street in the car with her friend in the car. She hanging out the window. Hey loves and welcome back to 117th uh, part of the Blue Face Jay Dean and Christian Rock series, you guys. So recently, uh, Christian went live to basically address her fans and just share with them how uh, she really feels about what Blue did for Jay Dean. So uh, Blue recently got a car for Jay Dean, and so we all know Christian is heavily pregnant. So she did seem as though she's in like in an emotional state she shared how painful it is to watch blue spend the money that she helped him raise while they were still together on another woman and even going as far as buying a car for the other woman that she has been telling blue or would say i want this type of car you guys now unfortunately the two are still you know in contact whenever blue asks christian to pull up that is what she does so up next i'll just go ahead and insert her side of the story then i'll be back with the rest of my commentary of all, the baby's still gonna be in my belly while i'm on the road making some money two i'm not about to tell you how much that check was cut because it was cut pretty nice because first of all you talking about give me the baby i left the house empty-handed bro i left that crib empty-handed all that money you flexing is the money we 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 made together that's that's the weird part that's the part that hurt two you know what you're doing last night bro calling me to come get his ass like what all right, I came and got him because they get into it. I, I pull up, right? Because I'm looking at both the ends of the street. I can't find him. I'm like, all right, his phone did. She, I beeped the car. The car. I'm in a black tenant car. I beeped the car. Like, beep, beep. My friend, she come outside, start banging. Like, she kept saying on schoolyard crib, da, da. I said, bitch, where your baby father at? He called me to tell me. He told me to come pick him up. So he ain't go back in the house. Copy. So she like, what? So she get the... Get out the car, get out the car. You know I'm not with Marsh. You know how Marsh you know how Marsh is. So <laughs> I, I pulled up with my dog and Jess. How you gonna go get her a truck right after I said I'm looking for a truck? Then it's just it's just weird, bruh, right? cause like you get on the phone like so what we doing? What you mean what we doing? Cause I said I'm doing baddies. And then I'm doing all this other shit. So I'm not really including him like he my baby father. I'm really, um, I'm thinking like since he's doing him over there, I'm going to be over here with some bitches and making some money. Like that's the best I could do. I can't do shit. I'm not going to include you and then you include her and then y'all already going up because of me. Not like that, but, but like that. Like, yeah, we're going up because, yeah, you blue face. Yes, we get it. But, man, you've been doing it together, Blue, so... The only reason why, like... Okay, because I deeply love this now. So, like, I know how childish she's been. And all this other shit. I know it's all cat. All that. I love my baby mom. All that. This and that. She lucky. She lucky I'm talking about her right now. With him. But, last night... And it's crazy, because I should have recorded her running after my truck but i wasn't i didn't pull up for cloud i pulled up because i'm like y'all really want me to pull up for him like all right i'm gonna pull up but i'm telling you yo he's so evil though like why did i pull up like yeah we love each other if i ever call you you will pull up if i ever stand outside of your house you will come outside and yeah so we have this weird understanding that we fuck with each other and it's so annoying and shit like it's annoying and shit like, 
I feel bad for whoever want to get involved in our bullshit and thinking they winning. I'm sorry, like, because that shit is all cap. You get what I'm saying? He got a little bitch thinking she going up and it's not going nowhere. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's really going. Is it, it, it What? Where is it going? Because now I'm comfortable enough to pull up again and really ask what's up. Like, okay. Y'all want to play? Y'all want to do this? Y'all want to do that? Y'all acting like I won't do what I really would do. Like, that's why I don't like when people be keep texting me like, I'm some bitch in L.A. Like, I'm from Baltimore and I'm a crazy bitch. So, I've been cool though. I've been cool till last night because that shit got me in my feelings. You know why I got me in my feelings? Is because, so you really cap into the world. Like, you, you really didn't fucking move on. When you doing all that with the money we raised together, he hate when I say my money. Is he like setting me up? Like, is you just pulling me in so y'all can get more clout? So they can be like a fucking circus wreck over this bitch. Because I'm telling you, yo. I'm telling you. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, yo. All right, I put it on my mother, yo. After this hair appointment, I thought it real fucking cute. I'm going to the house. I'm pulling up. And no, I, we stretch your wig with the last 24 hours. I'm pulling up. Y'all want to go viral? Let's go viral. No. Let's go real fucking viral. I hope nobody home. Fuck you talking about? Oh my man, I feel so sorry for Christian, you guys. I feel like she really needs to cut that umbilical cord. I don't understand why she is so attached to this very narcissistic human being. He's shown on numerous occasions that he does not want her. He does not love her, you guys. She just needs to focus on moving on and healing, you guys. Now, unfortunately, after, you know, Christian revealed that they love each other, they'll always be there for one another. Blueface is out there on Twitter embarrassing Krishan once again. These are some of the things he was tweeting. So he says, Jaden's the reason her teeth are missing till this day. Trust me, I'm with the right one. Then further went on to say, Jaden chased Rock the other day. Um, had her running. She wasn't lying. That is a true story. Jaden is the truth. I promise she with all the bullish Rock been running from that issue for a long time now. Rock had her friend in the truck. Uh, to another of them got out. Jadine was chasing um, the truck. I was shocked, honestly. I thought Rock was tough, but she was scared. That is like, on, ugh. this woman is literally heavily pregnant and you, as the baby father, you are expecting her to get out of the car and actually go and fight someone meanwhile she wasn't even ready to be doing such a thing she only went there mainly because you said she must come and pick you up like make this make sense how toxic can a human being be and honestly i'm just so speechless at this point so and the last thing that he said was that um he's gonna take jadine over rock anytime and he says, imagine pulling up on the girl that got your teeth missing with your friend in the car. It's two against one and you'll don't go up is crazy. I know the truth. So he's basically insinuating that Krishan and the friend were afraid of his baby mama. Even that, you guys, like what baby daddy in their right minds wants their baby mamas to be like physically fighting each other it just does not make any sense so please guys what are your thoughts on this one please let's just engage down on the comments and i will surely see you guys on the next bye